what a mini lift is versus a full face lift is basically uh, less of an incision, less of an operative time, and really a uh, less aggressive lift. There are people that are great candidates for this, this procedure. Those people are generally in their 40s, 50s, sometimes lower 60s that don't have a severe degree of uh, facial sagging and aging. Uh, someone who is generally in their 70s or 80s that has an extensive amount of wrinkling, excess skin or sagging would not be a candidate for this procedure. Our mini lift at Jefferson, we do this under local anesthesia and we do it in our office. It generally takes two to three hours and we do it through a limited incision. The downtime from a mini lift when compared to a regular facelift is much less. So uh, we usually tell our patients they can expect about 7 to 10, 11, 12 days of downtime versus the 2 to 3 weeks of downtime from a full facelift. This kind of short downtime uh, would be very appealing to a lot of patients and many patients are great candidates for this procedure. I hear all the time, you know, 50 year olds that come in and maybe they're there to uh, have a consult about their eyes. They start having the early signs of jowling, but they, they say, you know, I'm not really a, there yet, right? I should wait a few years to have a facelift. Uh, my answer to that question is not necessarily. There are good studies out now that show that the longevity of the facelift is excellent and that the satisfaction rates for people that have facelifts in their 40s, 50s, and 60s are actually better uh, than people that have them in their 70s or 80s. So if you're thinking about it, um, usually the easier time and the best time to have a facelift is probably earlier on rather than later. And a great option for that would be this, what we offer as a mini facelift under local anesthesia uh, in our offices in a safe environment at Jefferson. Among the many fit benefits of having the mini lift uh, include pricing. So when you're having a surgical procedure that's done under local anesthesia versus one under general anesthesia or twilight anesthesia, um, you're talking about significant financial savings um, with regards to anesthesia fees and facility fees. So I think that we can offer a great product under a safe environment at a very competitive price that can potentially give you 20 to 30 years of rejuvenation. Uh, and again, this is a very, very appealing thing for patients nowadays, um, especially in this tough economic environment.